This year marks our country's 91st Veterans Day celebration, as well as the 60th anniversary of the start of the Korean War. In Stanford, veterans and their friends and families got together, as they do every 11th of November, to celebrate Veterans Day. But this year, they came together in the government center to honor the veterans of the Korean War. The mayor opened by stressing the idea that our freedom isn't free, and that we are on our way to a new respect for that idea. This year, I think, is a new beginning. I think if you attended the Veterans Parade this past Sunday, you would have seen 40 units, different units, marching proudly down Summer Street to one of the largest crowds that I've ever seen, as enthusiastic as they can be, to be part of the tribute, to be part of the salute to our veterans. Mayor Pavia's brother, Tony Pavia, emceed the event. He introduced officers from each branch of the service, from the Marines to the Coast Guard, who spoke about what war and military service meant to them. This year's celebration was organized by Dodie Green, the widow of a Korean War veteran. I was uh, proudly married to a Korean War veteran for 53 years and two months. Green took it upon herself to plan the event, and when asked her official title, she did not say coordinator. My title, Mrs. <laughs> You got to get that R in there for yeah. Ray of 53 years and two months, but he was my best friend for 57 years. And Mrs. Green says that organizing the event wasn't difficult at all, what with her knowledge of veterans affairs and Korean culture. The easiest thing I've ever done. I've been to Korea. Uh, Koreans are my friends, Mr. Yoon, Mrs. Yoon. The ceremony ended with a special presentation of an American flag by Mrs. Green to Mayor Pavia a flag that flew over the nation's capital. And these will be displayed with pride in my office, Doty. Thank you. After the ceremony at Government Center, many veterans headed over to the Stanford's World War I Memorial in front of the Holiday Inn, as they do every year on the 11th day of the 11th month at 11 a.m. to pay tribute to the veterans of World War I.